Hi, I'm Ian Go. I'm a lecturer in classics at Swansea University. I've recently come into possession of some lovely sorrel. So it's time for another video in the series, The Food of Roman Verse. Sorrel is rather like spinach, but with a natural lemony zing to it. Its name is French, and it means sour. Here I'm adding some leaves and stems to an omelette. A neat tip from Marina O'Loughlin is to add a little mustard powder with water to the beaten mixture. This omelette, once I'd managed to flip it, was delicious, with some chives and a chilli sauce. A few lines about sorrel by Lucilius, the first Roman satirist, are reported by Cicero. Apparently, Lucilius extols sorrel, addressing the vegetable. Oh, sorrel, how you are criticised, and your true quality is not known enough. Following this personification, Lucilius says about sorrel, Lilius the Wise was accustomed to produce praise when reproaching our gluttons one by one. You may remember Lilius. He was the friend of Lucilius and Scipio Emilianus, who Horace said was playing parlour games with them as the cabbage cooked down. So again, the elite enjoy their five a day in preference to other foods, like fish. This, sorrel, is good old Roman ethical fare. Now, sorrel is a good subject for satire because its sharp taste makes it sharp like Lucilius' poetry. Here, satire's relevance is shown by the use of the word enough, satis. Satire is always about flirting with the boundaries of decorum, good taste, and knowledge. It's a hot summer's day, so here, I've put the sorrel in a salad with peach, ricotta, tomato and olives. Thanks to the gardens at UWC Atlantic College for the sorrel, and thanks for watching.